Well, so welcome back to Rune Factory 5. Um, I think what I'm going to probably do too is I'm going to probably try and push the story forward as quickly as I can uh, without trying to delay too much. I mean, there's like, there's kind of forced roadblocks too to pushing the story. I do enjoy that this very first day has no time constraints, but the days are actually pretty long in this game anyway, so usually you're not really running into time issues that frequently. But, um... Another thing too, though... That I also want to do is I want to do marriage. It's actually very rare that I get married in Rune Factory games, because the requirements are usually kind of annoying to meet. But we're definitely going to try to do it in this one. Anyways, let's uh, go check out this crystal place here. And then there will only be, I think, one more place to visit. Because we haven't gone out and explored here yet. Which we'll do eventually. Um, and actually, then we can go this way as well. But, uh, yeah. Look at that. We got something. Actually, if we use our sword, we can actually break these boxes open easier. Um, was that the only box, though? Hmm. I thought there was more boxes around. Alright, anyways, let's head in here. Huh? How unlucky. You are our 9,999th visitor. Had you been the 10,000th, I would have given you a crystal as a customer appreciation prize. Wow, that is bad luck. Yes, it sure is. So very unfortunate. How about this? Why don't you step out of the shop for a moment, then come back in? <sighs> uh, sure. <laughs> Like this? No, no, my friend. You should have asked me to step outside with you. Uh, huh? Uh... Well, it's a moot point now. How can I help you? Oh, right. I'm training under Seed. My name's Ares. Ah, yes, I heard about you. Is it true you've lost your memories? Lately, I've been rather forgetful myself, so I can understand what you're going through. I see. Where are my manners? I'm Heinz, proprietor of this crystal shop. Our motto is happiness sprouts from a smile. Pleased as punch to make your acquaintance. The pleasure's all mine. Uh... By the way, about that customer appreciation prize. Ha ha ha! You're quite the comedian, my friend. Do you think a crystal shop way out in the boonies could possibly attract 10,000 visitors? I, I guess not. I don't think I've introduced myself to everyone yet. What? He like bamboozled me. Alright, let's go and chat with him again real quick so we can get his friendship up a little bit. Ooh, can we not get to him? Oh, he's in the basement. Okay. You rang? Yeah, you're Heinz. You run the Crystalabra. Alright. Oh, gotcha. It's kind of weird because it looks like we're running fast outside, but we're running slowly inside. It's kind of driving me crazy, but I don't think there's any way to change that. No. Oh well. And then all we have left is the inn.
What is this place? They've also got a hot spring here. Isn't the hero of the hour. <laughs> Murakuma. Right? The one and only. Given my offer, any thought? There's plenty of room for you to stay at my place. Perks of being the innkeeper. Actually, I'm staying at the silo. I'm glad that everything worked out. Ah, uh, say no more. I'm sure you'll take the seed like a duck to water. Hang in there. It's a jungle out there, but work hard and you'll get by. If you ever need a break, come take a dip in our spa. There's no better way to restore your health and energy. Yes! Great, thanks for the offer. Have I met everyone in town? I'll report back to the field captain tomorrow. For now, I should call it a day. Yeah, I think we did report to pretty much everybody. Or at least the ones that were available to us. It's already getting late. that? Am I seeing things? And the field captain expected me to report back to her office once I finished my mission. Oh, finally. We've got skills now. All right, because it's in the morning now. And time is ticking. Time's ticking. Uh, uh. All right. Aww. All right. And there, yeah, we can talk to uh, Eliza now. Saint Eliza. Alright, well, we're not going to do that just yet. Oh, we are going to talk to the captain here. Captain Livia. Ma'am? Yes! I have introduced myself to everyone in town. Yeah. Good work. Well? Are you getting used to the small town life? Um... Yeah, everyone's so friendly. Are you really? And you're an odd duck. Huh? What? No, never oh, mind. Nothing. When it comes to relationships, everyone marches to the beat of their own drum. Hey! Speaking of which, Ares... Did you see the bulletin board by the silo entrance? Members of the community go there to file requests. I need someone to review the posts and help out any citizens in need. Yes! Consider it done. Yes! Good answer. Alright! For your next mission, you will complete a request from the bulletin board. Once you've resolved Priscilla's issue, report back to me. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Let me know if you have any problems. Okay, well, let's chat All with right. her. We're just trying to... We gotta make sure we get everybody's friendship up. Very important. To tackle another day. All right, so we got to go to the board and do a mission here, Priscilla's mission, which she wants us to go talk to her outside the restaurant. So we'll accept that quest. And then we have first directive, talk to Eliza. Uh, once you read this, head over to the silo and talk to Eliza. They should fill you in on how the request system works. Should. 
Alright. Haha, <laughs> so you accepted the request that Livy posted. Yeah, I figured I should give it a try. You just figured you'd give it a try. I do hope you decide to take this a little more seriously. Well, since Livy chose you for the task, I have no choice. So, I'll say you're qualified enough to use the directive system. What exactly is that, and how am I qualified enough to use it? The hint's in the name. This system lets you make rules that affect the whole town. You'll understand everything faster if you try it out yourself. Now, let's dish out some directives. Alright. This is basically just like the town thing, so let's expand our bag. That's kind of important. Alright. So we get seed points to make all sorts of new rules that'll help the town grow. What are seed points? Okay. Alright. Alright, so let's, um... I guess we'll start with the cooking contest, although... If I remember correctly, these points are not the easiest All to right. get, but, um... <laughs> We're taking over Livy's job. That's that. Um, let's see what we can do here. We have licenses. I do want to get these licenses here, although we don't have enough points. We only have 75 points, so we can't really get anything at the moment. So, off we go. We completed the request, so we get a reward. Let's get that. Nice. Customize your furniture as you please. Report back to task when you're done. Uh, Palmo asked me to give you the storage box as a housewarming present. Okay, do you know what to do with furniture? Well, it doesn't really matter if you do or not, because I'm not going to tell you anyway. Take the storage box. You can stick pretty much anything except for food and other perishables in it. Place your furniture wherever you want. If you feel like redecorating, then inspect any piece of furniture and select pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So, let's move this. The storage box we are going to keep outside because we'll have a lot of stuff to throw in here. And we're going to put it here-ish, maybe. We'll probably get more than one storage box, but for now, place that one there. And we have to do like all these requests initially because. Um, It's what unlocks a lot of items and stuff, so... Like, we'll get our hammer and axe from yes. here as well, eventually. So this is gonna give us, I think... Cheap axe, yep, so we'll pick that up. Oops, wrong one. Chop, 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 chop. This burns through a lot of RP to chop up wood, so... We gotta be careful how much wood we chop. How much wood would a rune chop chop if a rune chop could chop wood. Alright. And then obviously the lumber. We're gonna throw this... Actually, let's rotate this. How do we rotate again? I can't remember. There we go. This we might just throw in front of here, maybe. I don't know. I was going to try to be more organized, but clearly not that organized. Okay. Place a turnip in the bin. We don't have a turnip. 
Luckily, she gave us one, so... But this one, we might have to wait till tomorrow to finish the rest of this request, because it says to ship one, right? So... Um... Okay, so let's go to the restaurant, because that's our next course of action here. Let's maybe put that away. Don't need to be running around with an axe. All right, let's see what happens here. Hi, Ares. Are you here for my request? Yep. This the locked door? Yes. You're right, it won't open. Did you lose the key? No, but my big sister has the only copy. Is that so? All right, then we'll need to go find her. Um, see, that's the thing. She's inside the restaurant, but she hasn't come out in days. What? Oh no, do you think something happened in there? We have to do something. No way! Darn it, no response. Priscilla! Do I have your permission to break down the door? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yes. Okay, I'm on it. It won't budge. What's up? What's going on? Priscilla's sister is locked inside, but we can't get in. Step aside. Ugh, sturdier than it looks. Priscilla, is it okay for me to pulverize the door? Um, uh, probably. Wait a moment. Riker? Come on. I swear, blacksmiths are all brawn and no brain. Guess when all you've got is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I don't want to hear it from a halfling who's barely cut out for carpentry. Shut it. He'll eat those words eventually. Hmm. I see. It's open. For someone like me, this lock is child's play. Impressive. You'd make a fine locksmith. Or a fine thief. Life of crime might actually suit you. What? Har har, go on. Laugh it up. Come on. Someday I'll be Palmo's right hand man. You'll see. Thanks, everybody. I'll pay you back as soon as I... Don't mention it. We're doing this for a reason, right? Get in there. Priscilla! Let's go, Priscilla. Yes! I'm, I'm uh, right behind you. Elsha! Help! Huh? Did I just hear something? Expected. Luca, where's my sister? Elsha. <sighs> of course, I should have guessed. This is so typical of her. Uh, hey, uh, Priscilla. Who on earth is this? Oh, that's right. You two haven't met. 
This is Fuka. She works part-time at a restaurant. She says she's happy to meet you. Likewise, or should I say rar? <laughs> she understands you just fine. Oh, really? She says she knows a lot of words. Wow! Incredible. <laughs> I know, she's very determined to learn. No, I mean you're incredible, Priscilla. How can you understand what Fuka means? Well, that's easy, Ares. I'm sure you'll pick it up as you get to know her better. Fuka's language is less heard than seen. Seen? Oh, this is getting complicated. Huh? Could you repeat that, please? What your name? Um, one more time? What's your name? What's your name? Amazing! I've never seen anyone catch on so quickly. It's strange. As I watched her hands gestures and facial expressions, the words just kind of formed in my mind. You understand. Now you and I are friends. Thanks! Ah, uh -huh, thank you. I'm Ares. Thanks for being my friend, Fuka. Uh, and? That was human speech. I've been learning lots of new words from Priscilla. <laughs> and Fuka's teaching me the language of weird animals in return. Is that so? I'd love to learn more from you sometime. You betcha. Mm, what's going on? Uh oh. Elsha. <sighs> good morning, Priscilla. Jeez. Don't good morning me. You were gone for days. I've been worried sick. <sighs> Sorry about that. Walking home is just such a pain. <sighs> I've had enough. I'm going to put a reminder here, so make sure you read it every day. Okay, okay. Jeez, what a pain. Uh, You're Priscilla's sister, right? How about you? Mm-hmm. And you are? I'm Ares, the new seed trainee. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm. Why can't anyone use their indoor voice? Jeez! Is that how you introduce yourself? Ares is just being polite. In case you couldn't tell, Priscilla's the younger sister. That's why I get the honor of running this dump. Speaking of, I'm due for another nap. Mind taking over for a week or two? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Sorry about her. Elsa gets cranky when she wakes up. I don't mind. I'm just glad she's okay. Thank you. Thanks, Ares. Here's a little thank you for taking care of my request. Nice! Alright, so we got a bunch of potions. So we gotta go chat with people. We've got to go back and report that, which I think we can actually teleport back if we wanted to. I hope. Return home. Look at that. Well done! So you've completed your mission. No. The townspeople did all the work. I had barely lifted a finger. Ah. Is that so? Well, that's to be expected at first. Keep tackling the task board. That's how you'll improve. Um... So I should take on lots of requests? Yes! Yes. Let me put on my captain hat and explain how they're categorized. Sometimes people come directly to us with requests, but most of the time you'll find them posted out to the task board. Anyone in town who has a problem or request they'd like us to take care of will post it there. 
You can only accept a limited number of requests a day, so choose whatever you think you can handle. You can see how much progress you made on a request right here. If you decide you can't finish a request, then open up the camp menu and cancel it on the Ranger Notes page. Got it, but I'll do my best to see every request to completion. Good answer. I like your attitude. Just don't bite off more than you can chew, alright? We mostly receive requests related to finding lost items or making deliveries. Sometimes we even receive requests to deal with monsters that have run amok. That sounds kinda dangerous. Just a bit, yeah, but that's when, when Seed's supposed to step in. Monsters enter our world through gates. The equipment we use to fight them has been enchanted with a special spell called Tami Tamitaya. That's, this spell sends any monsters we defeat right back to their own world, the Forest of Beginnings. So, so that's how it works. By the way, you should take this. Okay, we got a beginner's crest. What's this? Open up the camp menu and go to your ranger notes and look for the seed crests page. You can equip it there. It should protect you for the time being. Usually you earn crests by using your catch skill to capture wanted monsters, but I'll make an exception this one time. We can discuss them in detail later. Hmm, I think that should do for now. <laughs> You can respond to whatever requests you please. Still, there's no need to push yourself too hard. Let me know if you have any problems. Okay. Our little town today. So let's go hand that in. We still haven't even done our farming. What? No requests available. Alright, well. We should have gotten a chest for that though. Let's go back and check. I can't recall now. Nothing? Normally when you complete a request, you always get something, but I guess we got nothing this time. Let's see if we got any directive points here, because we did a few requests. Not quite enough. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's uh, do our watering here. comes out okay all right yeah we watering don't have a lot of uh, rune power yes. initially watering time. so we'll probably have Becomes to go out. Becomes out okay take a bath here shortly Actually, there's a skill for throwing, too, which is kind of interesting. Um, this one, we actually need, I think, a hoe to break these out. Yes. Bamboo shoots. Oops. Okay. So, we're pretty much out of rune power, so we probably have to go to the inn to go take a bath. But I don't think it's... Hmm. I think there's like a time that you can take baths. I can't remember, though. I'm not going to bother with recipe bread, because we actually have a lot of recipe bread at the moment. But um, we have more in those boxes as well. need to go chat with everybody. Gotta get our friendship up. No, we don't have a chemistry license yet. I don't have enough points Feeling for that. Well? I think every person we talk to is like two points or something. So eventually we will build up quite a few of those directive points, but it takes a while. You rang? Oh, a crystal shop would actually sell crystals, right? Hmm. Okay. I just came to chat. Okay. Now, where is he? Oh, he's just over here. So, I think we're doing alright, friendship-wise. Like, we're, we're getting people. We have people at 50%. 
should probably go talk to Fuka and Murakamo. Because I know I think there's like a mission where we have to get everybody to like at least one friendship. So, gotta definitely stay on top of that talking to everybody. Might even be level 2 friendship, I can't remember. But as long as we talk to everybody most days, we'll be fine. No. Oh yeah, he's talking about how he can renovate anything in like the town, which is... Mm. We gotta go to. Oh look, our RP is all fully like back. How did that happen? Probably because we skilled up something. I don't know. Either way, let's um go. Probably take a break here. Um, probably run out of town and start killing some monsters and stuff too. Right. Um, but yeah, we'll take a break here, and uh, next time we'll keep doing some more stuff. I'm gonna try to fill up the days as much as I can to kind of make as much progress too. Um, but yeah, so as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.